The British Medical Association has a long history of supporting medical research and academic medicine, but it also helps to further valuable innovative research with crucial funding for key projects. Each year, the BMA awards a number of prestigious grants, many to early career doctors. Totaling around a half a million pounds, the funds are the legacy of generous donors to the BMA. I've been awarded the James Trust grant, which is going to fund me to do a year of doing sputum inductions and bringing children to the laboratory, learning more about dendritic cells and asthma. Without this research grant, we would be able to do some aspects of this, but we wouldn't be able to do a full project where we're looking at the dendritic cells in particular. Um, it's really allowed us to do a sort of a, an add-on bit, which is really the more interesting bit of the science, to be honest. I'm going to get a PhD, I'm going to try and follow it up as a clinical lecturer and go through, learn more about asthma, get good at doing research with children and then hopefully you know, become a boss and train up other people to come along and get the James Trust grant in a few years' time after me. The BMA's research grants are available for clinical and academic doctors as well as research scientists. They fund work in a range of specialist areas, some fixed and some which change annually. So much that we take for granted today has come about because of research and we need to be able to continue to offer that and funds are getting more difficult to come by and particularly if you're starting up in research, it's very difficult to get started. You don't have a track record, you are competent, you have a good chief who's going to guide you through it but you simply can't get the money because nobody knows about you relatively small amounts of money will set people off on the road to their future careers in research. This award is really important to my career development because it allows me to start building my own programme of research um, to allow me to become an independent investigator. So we're looking at children who've been screened to see if they have three main antecedents of schizophrenia. Um, so those are children who have developmental delays, um, either in motor or speech. Um, who have social emotional behavioural problems um, and also who have psychotic like symptoms. So by that I mean um, that they believe that everyone in the world is against them or that occasionally they can hear someone talking to them when no one else is actually there. The recent money we've got will actually allow me to go back to that cohort of children and, and now follow them up to see who has developed early signs of schizophrenia. You can apply for a BMA research grant online at bma.org forward slash research grants. The process of applying for this grant was incredibly straightforward and I would really recommend that other people apply for this award. It gives you a good amount of seed funding really to get things started with your own projects. Look on the website, look in the British Medical Journal, see where these grants are available get your application in, think big, give a good application because it's as hard to get one from here as it would be from the Medical Research Council, but we will be able to help a lot of people. Research is important because without research we don't progress medicine and because we uh, need to be thinking about evidence based for what we do and I think that um, Medical training is not complete without an understanding of how research leads us to improve our medicine. If you'd like to find out more about the research grants available or how to apply, you can also contact the BMA's Research Grants Department direct.